Let's take a look at the map here of the Montezuma Wetlands Complex. If you're coming from Rochester, you're going to take the New York State Thruway to exit 41. Exit the Thruway and you'll be on Route 414 heading south. Pick up Route 318 right away and take that uh, east. You'll be north of Seneca Falls. Then you take a left on Route 20. Head into the refuge. You'll see the osprey nests along Route 20. And then take a left for the visitor center before you get to the Seneca River. There's the visitor center. This is also the entrance for Wildlife Drive, which parallels the New York State Thruway. From there, you can head into the northern parts of the complex. There's some great places to see up there, including the Montezuma Audubon Center up here north of Savannah, although that's closed due to the pandemic. Anyway, there's still lots to see. Make sure you take your bird book and a good pair of binoculars and you're all set. So we're traveling along Route 5, just east of Seneca Falls. All right, hold on a sec. You can uh, keep filming. Hi, I'm Bill Mayer and I'm a naturalist. And uh, today we're gonna go for a tour of the Montezuma National Wildlife Refuge. We're gonna tour Wildlife Drive, which is off to the right here. Um, and if you're here on a, a visit almost any time of year, except the middle of winter, you can stop at the visitor center, which is off to the left and they have bathrooms there and exhibits and volunteers, a little gift shop and things like that. So it's very worthwhile. But um, yeah, let's see what we can find. It's April 23rd and it's uh, a little bit past the peak of the waterfowl migration, but there's still waterfowl here. And it's a little bit before the peak of the shorebird migration, which will go through May and into June. So it's still a lot of, a lot of good things to see here. There's bald eagles year round, so it's worthwhile uh, even in, in winter as well. Wildlife Drive is a one-way route that uh, usually takes you about 45 minutes or so and uh, there's lots of places to pull over. You have to stay in your car but there's a lot of things to see and uh, it's I highly recommend it. There's a lot of other people here on the drive today. April 23rd. There's a very cooperative blue winged teal hanging out here. I'm on the, a good side here. Oh my gosh, and a, a yellow legs here. Let's get you in focus, there we go. So along the first stretch of wildlife drive, there's this ditch or canal uh, that, that parallels the road and it's a great place to see some birds up close. Yeah, I'm not sure why there's a, a flag stick there. It's like whatever golf hole this is, it got flooded. Well, the flag took the hole. <laughs> something else? Oh, what's swimming there? A little something. Yeah, a little something. Beaver or muskrat? Uh, Okay, here's a couple of green wing teal. These are members of the smallest North American duck species. And green wing teal breed in Canada. Uh, they're a boreal forest bird, and you'll find them in lakes and ponds up north. But here at Montezuma, we have them in the springtime and in the fall. They're pretty common. Oh, a shorebird. Yellow legs way back there in the cattails. And there are a couple of ducks here. Blue winged teal. Male and female group.
I stopped here to photograph that uh, Canada goose has a really nice nest here. I don't have more to say about her. She looks like she likes her spot there though. This is all part of the main pool. Oh, here, there's a muskrat right there. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna get a shot at it. I was just gonna, I was just gonna comment on the muskrat lodges that are all over the place here, and say something like, "If you want to come here to see a muskrat, I would come at at dusk." Oh, here, and there's an osprey. Ooh. I just snatched. snatched a fish or something. Maybe it snatched a, a young muskrat. So this is the main pool, and there's a bunch of um, muskrat lodges here and there. So I was thinking it'd be a great time to to come look at mu for muskrat, um, you know, right around dusk when they're very active. Here are some northern shoveler. These guys are a prairie duck and they'll be in the Midwest and the Canadian prairies uh, breeding all summer, but they'll spend a little bit of the spring and a little bit of the fall here at Montezuma. The male's on the right, brightly colored. Here we go. Scurrying along. I need help. Well, you want to overexpose it. So when you're shooting up into the sky, uh, the best way to um, have your subject well lit is to over sh overexpose the sky. We're at the bald eagle tree, which is this big, I'm gonna call it a willow. I'm not totally sure what it is, but I think it's a willow and it's a long wildlife drive. After you pass the main pool, and before you turn to head west, paralleling the state throughway, there's this giant tree on the right, it's along the Seneca River, and it often has a bald eagle there, and today it has two, two adult bald eagles. We're at the observation platform here, along the throughway at Montezuma, and uh, it's a nice place to just hang out, have a snack, and watch birds. But you're also in the presence of the uh, eagle sculpture that was completed a few years ago. Now let's zoom in on that guy. So let's take a look at the bald eagle sculpture. This was uh, an artwork that was commissioned by the refuge to commemorate the 40th anniversary of the Bald Eagle Re Reintroduction Program for New York State, uh, which was centered at Montezuma. And uh, the sculpture itself is made up of, of steel plates that have been welded and, and bent and, um, well, they're, they're forged plates that have been welded into place, and you can take a look at them here on this video. But it's just a great sculpture, and it's, uh, it overlooks the throughway. You can see it on your way through. But it's really nice to see close up, so I encourage you to take a look at it on your next time on uh, Wildlife Drive. I don't have much more to say, but I'm Bill Mayer. And uh, this is all being filled by, by my daughter, Angie Mayer, so i got to uh, put in some props for her. And um, that's it, I think. But let me think if there's anything else. Why is this camera not? National Wildlife Refuge. Are you filming me? <laughs> I'm with my expert daughter here. Is it too far away? No. No. It's not too far away or too close. Oh yeah. Welcome to Montezuma Wildlife Refuge. I'm Bill Mayer. We're going to go on a tour there and it's going to be great. Thumbs up.